the dump trucks are well known all over the world. But, just not like that. This trucking company started delivering to a customer a few years ago. I was only able to ride on his route recently, during a large-scale operation of Allison Automatic Transmissions, where a variety of equipped truck transports were presented. Among them, the Tatra 10X10 dump truck looked the most unusual. Today, among the mining dump trucks, created on the basis of road trucks and designed to work in quarries, there are even six axle models. But five axles for such dump trucks are considered by many to be redundant. However, five axle dump trucks have several cases of infection by the company. For example, a five axle dump truck is in its Sconia production program, a payload of 40 tons. Among the records for mass transportation among five-axle mining dump trucks are the Finnish Sisu Superpolar, capable of carrying 50 tons of cargo in its body, and the Dutch Paz based on the Volvo FH serial truck, whose carrying capacity is 55 tons. The coolest of all is the five-axle Genaf with a cab from a serial Ford truck. This dump truck can carry as much as 75 tons of cargo in one trip. But all these dump trucks, by and large, were exotic, because in searches with four-axle mining dump trucks, the demand for five-axle dump trucks is not very high. Nevertheless, the Tatra company, which has several variants of four-axle mining dump trucks in its model line, nevertheless installed a five-axle dump truck, which, with a gross weight of 60 tons, is capable of transporting 37 tons of cargo. Of course, this is not the best result among competitors. On the other hand, the advantage of the large five-axle Tatra dump truck is that it is actually completely created on mass-produced units and assemblies. So why did Tatra still develop a five-axle dump truck? The fact is that, thanks to the all-wheel drive of all wheels, the steered wheels of the fifth axle and a completely independent suspension, in such a dump truck, sluggishness, bulkiness, and an underestimated level of patency, the properties of five-axle dump trucks of other brands, were minimized. The layout of the chassis of this dump truck is classic for trucks of the Tatra brand. The basis of the chassis is a spinal frame, that is, a frame in the form of a strong pipe, a transfer case in contact with it and main gear housings, as well as an original combined independent suspension with pneumo-mechanical suspension. True, due to the high load characteristic of mining dump trucks, it was not possible to equip all wheels with single tires. Dual tires were installed on the large and fourth axles with a permissible load of 16 tons. Those who use mining trucks rightly fear for the reliability of the fifth axle, especially if such an axle is made steerable. Due to the fact that when lifting the body, it is the fifth axle, and not the rear axle tandem that is classic for four axle cars, gets the most necessary load, which is very difficult for the fifth axle alone. For the Tatra dump truck, according to its designers, this is not a problem. The fifth axle here, although steerable, requires a load of 10 tons, and not 9 tons like the two front steered axles. In addition, the fifth axle is equipped with a reinforced suspension with increased excitability. As for the cross-country ability, which is objectively reduced for five-axle dump trucks in searches with four-axle ones, Tatra came out of the situation by using an all-wheel drive transmission, as well as inter-axle and inter-wheel lockable differentials. True, lockable cross-axle differentials occur only on the rear axles. Why do you need multi-lock differentials there? The fact is that a long multi-axle dump truck on rough terrain every now and then in isolation from the road turns out to have wheels on one or the other axle, so you can't do without differential locks. Turning on the differential lock is as easy as shelling pairs. For this there are several keys on the dashboard with the corresponding icons. Transmission control greatly facilitates the use of an automatic hydromechanical transmission. In our case, Allison 4700 with 7 bands. A retarder is integrated into it, a powerful transmission brake which the driver controls by lever located to his right. In addition, the gearbox control panel is located to the right of the driver. Those to whom the interior of the cab seemed familiar were not mistaken. It strongly resembles the interior of the cab of DAF trucks. And this is not surprising, since Tatra buys cabins for its modern trucks, as well as engines from the international company Picard, which owns DAF. 
I like that the cab of the Tata dump truck although it is considered daytime, that is, without a sleeping compartment, nevertheless, there is a lot of free space behind the seats to place some personal belongings of the driver there, carry a jacket or recline back to take a nap during break between flights. From above, the cab is protected by a powerful shield that covers it from stones falling from the excavator bucket. True, the large gap between this shield and the visor of the dump platform is surprising, into which a large stone can fly. The tipper platform has one interesting feature. It expands backwards. That is, the width of its section increases from the front to the rear side. This is done to facilitate the pouring of cargo. And so that this very load would not freeze to the bottom of the dump platform in winter, it was equipped with a heating system for engine exhaust gases, the branching of this system is clearly visible behind the cab. The Picard diesel engine with a working volume of 13 liters develops a power of 510 horsepower, which is quite enough for a dump truck with a gross weight of 60 tons. The power reserve of this dump truck turned out to be not too large because due to the five-axle chassis between the wheels there was no room for a fuel tank of significant capacity. It was installed in the only suitable place, between the wheels of the second and third axles, and only on one side of the frame, because on the other side, an oil tank and an ag blue tank are installed in the same place. And, at the end of this video, it must be said that five axles for Tatra trucks are not the limit. The company produces a chassis with 6, 7, and if necessary, even 8 axles. But such multi-axle chassis is a topic for another story. 